Hi, it's Mr. Schneider. You get to see me twice in one day, lucky you. Try something a little different, do a video podcast on our notes today. Uh, Today's notes are personal traits of a good citizen. These are things that citizens should do, the way they should act. First one is trustworthiness and honesty. You should tell the truth, obviously. Good citizens tell the truth. And that leads to people trusting you. You definitely want people to trust you. You want to show courtesy and respect for others. And that includes valuing others' opinions, even when they differ from you. You want to show responsibility, accountability, and self-reliance. Sometimes you got to do stuff by yourself. Sometimes you're going... You know, when you mess up, you have to say, you know what, I did it. It was, it was my fault. Um, and you know, you want to be responsible. When you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Mom, I'm going to take out the garbage. Dad, I'm going to help set the table. These are things you should do. We need to show respect for the law and not just the actual laws, but the people that enforce those laws. Um, it's always good. Good citizens are always patriotic. Again, you don't always have to agree with what our country does. You don't always have to agree with people, our leaders, what they do. Um, But you still should love your country, whether it's standing up to, uh, say, the Pledge of Allegiance in school, um, to uh, singing the national anthem when you're at a sporting event, to displaying the flag on the 4th of July and other holidays, all ways that we can show patriotism. Uh, You want to participate in your school and in your local community, whether that's running for the SGA, whether that's becoming involved in the service learning club, or any club at all. Also be involved in your community. Um, You know, a a lot of communities hold like Halloween uh, drives or Halloween parties, uh, you know, going back and helping at your elementary school when they do different events. And the last thing, you're not old enough to do this yet. Well, I guess you could participate in elections at school, but you definitely want to participate in elections as an informed voter. Uh, Voting is probably our most important responsibility, as we talked about last class. Um, So when you're older, you know, find out who's running. Find, as I've told you before, you should always vote for a candidate based on what they stand for, not for what they look like, not from where they're from. That none of that matters. Participate as an informed viewer. Hope you enjoyed this video podcast, and I will see you uh, tomorrow at school. Thanks.